Niklas Schroeder presenting rapid repeated structuring. In this chapter, I would like to speak about communication again. There is another chapter uh, that touches the topic of communication, but now I, I would like to approach it from a different viewpoint. First, I'm not that's a quite unusual, but I would like to present a personal story. I was playing with, with uh, one of my kids a game invented by... Well, we invented them together. There were two cars, two big enough cars, and a lot of toys around us. My daughter was sitting here, I was sitting here. And the game was, she was sending me, she, she was putting some, some toys in this car from, from this area and sending me. And I was putting some toys and sending to her. And then we took took it out, took out the the gifts. We were very happy to receive a gift. And uh, in the empty car, we sent back another gift. After a while, of course, we, we started to combine and put two or more toys in the car and send in the car something like this. She was sending me like this, back and forth. What is this story about? I was um, I was thinking why why this this uh, game is is interesting, and why why are we playing one and a half hours uh, this game? Of course, my my daughter is small, she's uh, six years old. old. What, what is modeling this game? And it's communication. If, if we, we take this, uh, these toys, what, okay, let's take another color. So these toys as our cognitive schema or cognitive schemata, whatever, however you call it. What is important that we didn't speak? We already didn't speak too much uh, about uh, what we are sending. Just, just we were pushing the cars or showing the cars to, to each other. So if these are our cognitive schema, this is a Barbie girl, this is a small car, this is a small cookie, a cookie toy, uh, this is a ring, whatever. And we are combining it, putting in the car and sending it over. Then it's very similar to what happens in our mind. If we take our mind something like this and we have a different schema, schemata in our mind, we can call them uh, subsystems of our, our personality or of our mind. These, these schema or are uh, if there are enough resources, these this schemas are, are combining and restructuring between each other. And if there's a good integration, they are connecting well, then uh, it's worth spreading that new information or new connection to our teammates or, or uh, colleagues or whatever or for those people that are, are important for us. And in that case happens that, that we take out, and here's very important that it's a copy. It's a copy of our schema. And for making a copy, uh, we shouldn't forget that that's re resource. Uh, that, that, needs, uh, uh, that needs resources. So if we took out, uh, we, we made a copy first, 
and this this copy we can send over to to into somebody else is mine. The classic approach on on communication is as uh, might as everybody might know is the classic uh, Shannon and Weaver's model about sender, receiver, and a channel. I think here should be the channel. And the message goes over the channel and, and goes to, to the receiver. In our case, the, the message was uh, this toy, say, no, sorry, this toy. The channel was, say, the car sending. Uh, here was the sender and, and um, here, well, here is the receiver. What uh, I, I would like to 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 add some to this to, to this model. It maybe in a, in a different chapter I, I will talk about the very very many problems that occur with the channel with noise, with uh, loss of information and whatever that can be compensated through different other channels, like uh, non-verbal communication or uh, references to, to the same object that is perceived the same. In, a, in a, the chapter, I was speaking about the, the time, of uh, the biological and the physical time. So that's also a similar issue. And about the constructive, cooperative constructivism, that is also related. So in order to, to make it sure that, that uh, the respective subsystem goes and can connect to, to the new, uh, to the receiver's subsystems. So if, if here we, we have a, a subsystem and, and here we have the the receiver subsystems in order to make it sure that this goes to the right place and and uh, will connect well to uh, to to the relevant subsystems we, we have to uh, or, or the sender has to play in advance the, the whole communication process, meaning that the this sender should have a, a copy, a approximative copy. Of course, he he can never have the an identical copy, but as as better as possible a copy of the receiver's subsystem structure. Uh, like somehow to to make it smaller. Oh, and lucky me, I could have done it. So uh, within this this system, this uh, uh, to improve the efficiency of the communication process, the sender makes um, a model of the uh, of the relevant parts of the receivers. Uh, subsystem structure. For example, if a, uh, a, a university professor is making a presentation at the university lecture, then or, or teaching in one on one situation, a student has to know exactly what does the, the student knows and what what information does he miss, what knowledge does he miss, in order to, to design. Uh, the message in a proper way exactly that is able to to connect properly and this information should be sent over to the channel and what is interesting in this whole process that the, uh, Shannon and Weaver's original model is talking about one channel but uh, there are almost unlimited number of channels supporting the communication and it's only up to us or up to the observer which communication channel 
is uh, is seen as as primary. In a poker game, the nonverbal communication is is seen as uh, as uh, primary because there you can see if, if somebody is making a bluff or is is talking uh, for real or bidding for real. In in, in dan when dancing, the 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 body movements uh, have have a higher priority and not not the verbal communication. So these channels are always supporting uh, each other, and information is not flowing only unidirectional, but it's definitely bidirectional, uh, especially because this has to be copied here. A, a better or worse a copy or an approximate copy, but especially a copy of a, a okay of of this part where where this uh, new new information will arrive. So back to back to the uh, to the the child child's game. When the biggest fun was when, when we, we were able to, to send each other those toys or parts of toys that were missing. For example, my daughter wanted to to to, to decorate uh, a small house and everything was ready, only the fence uh, of the house was missing. And if I had that fence and I, I could send her this fence instead of, say, a, uh, a new puppet, a new, new doll, she was the happiest. So, again, I had to, to make a, a model of, of her cognitive schema in our case, uh, what kind of toys she has and what kind of purposes she has in, in, in that uh, specific moment. So, thanks again for that.